I don't like this serve. It goes right to me. See where it lands? It needs to either be for right or left, or he needs to hit with more spin. Because it came right to my forehand, and the angle is really easy to hit from here. So if he serves it down the middle, he takes away the angle. It makes it hard for me to hit. I have to go more through the court and more to him. But since it comes in and bounces away towards my backhand, but not really, I do a slight shift, opens up the nice inside out. I nail it, and I can come on in. Let's take a look at that again. So I hit this return, right? I'm expecting him to bounce it. And he catches me off guard right here. Because I'm expecting him to bounce it. He's not going to lob because he never lobs. The down the line is kind of possible. And I'm expecting a shot back to me. But because I'm expecting him to bounce it, I actually think I have more time. By him hitting the air like this, he threw me off. See, I froze. Now, I have options. You never lob when you're just close to the net. Two is bad, the angle change. It's a slice, too. So I have to go back to him. But I'm going to go back to him short. And normally it's a really good shot, but he's left-handed. So it changes things just a little bit. Watch my partner shift. That's beautiful. So he anticipates my shot. He's going to the alley. Notice the other side. The guy didn't move. He needs to move. Okay, so I hit this shot here. We make the shift. He's left-handed. One is the best option to go and protect the middle. Two is not bad because he's left-handed. He can roll it to the forehand. My partner shut down three, so that's not an option. And three is too high. The ball's too low to go three. Okay, and notice where I'm standing. I'm standing between two and one because he could roll it to two or takes one. But he normally hits one. Notice that person on the other side is actually in the wrong place. He needs to be more, more over because since his partner's in the alley, he needs to be more in the middle court. And I'm just guessing now. And that's anticipation.